Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, well, to see you all. All looking very chipper, In including the two who have got the uh, the dreaded lurgy. Just heard Barbara and Brian have both got COVID. Mm. But they're, they're very well. Yeah. They look very we well. well. I must yeah. say. Um, if, if I look as good as that, if I have a, a bad yeah. cold, I'll be very happy. So, <coughs> right, okay. Uh, do we have a theme? Autumn. Oh, I thought it was. What's autumn? The autumn leaves. That, you gotta, someone's got to do that one, please. It's a surprise because I live on the 17th floor. Yes, I don't know if you can see that. It's a long, long time from May to September. 240 days. You, what? Have you got that? Life happens, wine helps, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put that on now? Keep it on for the rest of the session. Can't drink. <laughs> <laughs> the wine, wine doesn't help then, does it, really? You can't get to it. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to have a, a bash at this one. It's one of... Um, known about for years and years and years uh first heard it by sung by sean healy back in the dim and distant early days probably at the ring of elves um and never got around to singing it and it's um it was recorded by tommy makeham and the clancy brothers um and it's called the um october winds and it's a lullaby um, and it's a, to sing a child to sleep uh, with a prayer for safety against the sort of wild weather and the um, the wild banshee of Clan Owen, oh. um, the castle of Drummore. And apparently the castles of Drummore in Down, Kerry, Limerick and Tyrone. No. According to my research, he says the, this is most likely to be Drummore Castle oh. in Kerry because the the chap who wrote the song, Sir Harold Bolton, was an occasional guest there. So he might have been inspired when he was there. All right. So um, I think you're all muted. Well, most of you muted. Mm. Mute now. <coughs> Please mute yourselves. Yeah. Angela. Angela, I'll mute you. Go on. Right, you're muted. This is definitely a first, I don't think I've ever done this ever anywhere. The October winds lament around the castle of Dromore, yet peace is in her lofty halls. My loving treasure store. Though autumn leaves may droop and die, the bud of spring are you. Oh, sing hush of my loo, la loo, la. Sing hush of my loo, la. <coughs> Bring no ill wind to hinder us. My helpless babe and me, dread spirit of black water side, and the winds wild and she, and holy Mary pitying us in heaven for grace to sue. Oh, sing hush a by loo, la loo, la, sing hush a by loo. Take time to thrive, my ray of hope, in the garden of Dromore. Take heed your eaglets, till your wings are feathered fit to soar. A little rest and then the world is full of things to do. Oh, sing ho shabai lu, la lu la. Sing ho shabai lu la. Oh, sing ho shabai lu, la lu la. Sing ho shabai lu, 
That's not put you to sleep. <laughs> so you remember that, Rick? Hey. Do you remember that, Rick? I do, yes. Yeah, you remember Sean singing it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Thanks to you. It's quite, quite a wide um, range as well, so no, I should have pitched right. it maybe just slightly higher. And, um, That's cute. I could have struggled less on the top notes than I did on the bottom note. Probably. But there you go. Hmm. Right, um, I've got Pete down first because he was actually showing as if he was here right at the beginning. So um, you need to unmute yourself, Peter. And he it, can't it's do got it. Me you've, you've been <laughs> trying to get in for, for the longest, so you're first. I haven't said hello to Stan properly either. Be in his Am I on? Is he on now, Martin? Can you? Yeah, yeah. Right, yes, you're on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Right. Come on then. <laughs> well. <laughs> it took him by surprise, Martin. Well, He's you, in a state of shock now. Because I can't see my picture, you see. Well, it's because you wanted it moving. Oh, did I? No, that was... There you are. There's your picture. There it is. Oh, you can... Well, half of me's on. No, it's Don't right. worry, we know you're there. <laughs> I know yeah, what you well, look like. You might remember <laughs> when I first came on that I... Talks about missing uh, songs. Yeah. Well, I found them. Way. Right. In a yeah. in a drawer, specially covered with a, a couple of other folders. <laughs> Hiding them. Put them somewhere safe so you wouldn't lose them. Anyway, I've gone. I've been right through them. There's there's well over a hundred songs. Oh, great. Now wait a minute. Before you say that, some of, them are, some of them are pop songs and, you know, old performers and stuff like that. A bit of rock and roll. Bit rock and roll, all <laughs> sorts of stuff. <laughs> but I've been, I've been through them and I've, I've pulled out just over a hundred <laughs> folk songs. Good. <laughs> just over a hundred. You won't be able to do them all tonight. It's scary, isn't well, it? It's the ones, scary. Well, the ones I could... I've got the words. The ones I could sing uh, is almost exactly a half. I mean, yeah, that's 25. I could sing with the... Because I've got the, the words. The others, I know some of them, but I'm not, key, I'm not sure about the music. So what I've got to do with those, the other 25 or 26, I've got to play those, which I've got, I've got somewhere, so I'll, I'll be able to <laughs> find out what the music is, and then I can sing, I could sing those. Good. I'm, I'm well, maybe next time we can just send the evening over to you and let you do the lot. I'm only. I'm only uh, <laughs> Don't do that, Martin. <laughs> I'm only, uh, you know, limited to singing. Yes, it's about twenty-five, I think. <laughs> So I don't think you need them. Come on. And I've been looking at the list and trying to decide what, what I should sing. Number six. Number six. They're not, there's no numbers on them. No. no. You can count them down, can't you? <laughs> no, I've already picked a, a couple that I might, uh, I might be able to do. Right. Uh, one. Come on. Got time for just one more then? <laughs> You've talked all the time now. <laughs> what does that say, love? What? Pleasant and delightful. This pleasant and delightful is here. But I thought first, somebody mentioned last week. What, what's his name? Edwin War. Edwin War. Edwin Wolf. Now, I'd, I'd, I'd studied him a little bit in the old days, back in 2012. And... Uh, there's one song that I like quite a bit that would go down, I think, quite well. It's called When the Sun Goes Down. Okay. As I say, it's, it's Edwin Moore. Uh, I've got the music to it as well. That's good. Arranged by C.E. Oh, yeah. C. E. Rowley. Shut up, I'm being interrupted <laughs> here. So I'm going to, I'll sing that. Get on with it. <laughs> From the back, get on with it. 
Now, there's a bit part of it. I think you you well everybody would repeat if uh, if they could join in. But I, I'll I'll do what I can with it anyway. We'll repeat I'll, silently. It, silently, okay. And it's called when the sun goes down. Oh, right. By right, Edwin Moore. When life's glad day is gone and the sun goes down, when we muse all alone as the sun goes down, oh, the heart is not so light when the day is taking flight and we feel the coming night as the sun goes down. Oh, the flowers fall asleep when the sun goes down and the silence is deep when the sun goes down but the side skies of night grow fine and the stars begin to shine with a radiance divine when the sun goes down ere the lark sinks to rest when the sun goes down in his grass shaded nest when the sun goes down while the world begins to dream then his evening carols stream from the gathering starlight's gleam when the sun goes down so remote from the throng when the sun goes down life's quiet shades among when the sun goes down in the twilight's deepening gray at the waning of the day let me sing my little lay as the sun goes down so remote from the throng when the sun goes down Life's quiet shades among when the sun goes down. In the twilight's deepening grey, at the waning of the day, let me sing my little lay as the sun goes down. There you are. Yeah. Ed, Ed, Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. That's so like beautiful. Didn't sound like an old traditional tune, that does it? Didn't sound like the right tune. It doesn't right. sound like an old traditional tune. It's it's the way it's well. It's only more like something from a musical, or does it? Well, I've not got any. It's only more modern. It was nice arranged, arranged by somebody, C. E. Rowley. Right. It's a traditional air, and. It's got in inverted commas after that. It's got farewell Manchester. Oh right. Let me just what up? And yeah, Ro Rowley yeah. wrote quite a few tunes to uh, Woff's songs, and there was uh, uh, somebody else, I can't remember, Robert Jackson, I think, also wrote uh, song uh, tunes to, to his songs as well. So there was, there was two or people that. doing tunes. In, I don't know when they were, in the turn of the last century, something like that, maybe up to the 20s, yeah. 1920s. But to come on to the Children and Me, which is probably his famous, well, it is his famous one, that was, uh, the, the tune to that, that everybody knows that the Tinkers do, was done by uh, P. Delavanti. Lovely. Yeah. Well done, Peter, it was a nice song, nice song. Right. Yes, I, I was, you know, I, I attracted by it when it was first done for us. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'll definitely sing that. Right. Anyway, there you are. Lovely. Um, right, Mr. Super Tech Guy. You've gone off. You need to unmute. Okay. Is it there you go. Am I, am I done? No, you're on, yes. Before I sing my song, could I ask three questions? Yes. What's Christina knitting, for a start? What is it? Somebody's knitting something. She's always knitting. I'm knitting a hat. Knitting a hat, right. Okay, that's my first question. <laughs> second, <laughs> second question is, how many people should I be able to see on my screen now? There should be 11 screens. Right, I've only got four. 
Oh, right. I've only got six. Where am I going wrong? I don't know. We've got six. Right, but don't worry about it. What are you watching it on? Are you on a tablet? I am. Right. It's because you're on a tablet. Across. No, it's because I'm on a tablet. Okay. Then you right. can slide across and see the rest, the other five. If you slide, you'll see the others. Yeah, I do. I do. But, uh, yeah. I just, I just don't. I'll, I'll just be watching myself while I'm singing. You're know, getting me. Uh, I'd, I'd slide it to the bit so you can't see me, and then you'd be right. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Right. Oh. Off you go, Jeff. Right. Uh, hang on. I've got one more question. That was only two. Is any, yeah, I've got three questions. <clears throat> Is anybody this evening doing autumn leaves? No. no. But that's just one person answering. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Nobody. Is nobody doing no. it? No. Oh. Right. That you I'll, break, are... I'll break the habit of a lifetime. I'll break the habit of a lifetime and go with the theme. All right. Wow. Right. Oh, I'm gonna. I've got the right. Oh, I forgot the key. Oh no, just more like it. Right, here we go. No, I probably won't do it. <laughs> I didn't practice it. I just uh, when you mentioned it. All right, okay, I'll do it. for me. I see your in your summer kiss, the summer hand I used to hold. Since you went away, the days grow long. version of autumn leaves and the wrong key from the wrong key for my voice but serves me right for sticking oh, to the very nice very nice serves me right for sticking to the theme yeah <laughs> sounds like you just come from choir practice <laughs> Marion are you there fuzzy Marion unfortunately I think you meant to clean clean the lens on your camera yeah, I don't, we don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> um, it's a cheap camera, I'm told. Right. <laughs> Autumn mist. I don't know how, I don't know what other cameras are compatible with. So we're sticking with that. Um, I was just desperately trying to think what I could sing that's got anything to do with Autumn. So um, I'll just sing one that's slightly spooky i tend to sing it around halloween but okay we'll sing it a week early um i've got a few others for halloween <laughs> good because that's our theme next time <laughs> right. 
Oh, wait a second. Um, I've just got something else in my head. Oh, world is... Oh, down. Oh, world is wild. Uh, I just need to get it. I know the, I know the feeling, Marion. Oh, world is wild. That's not right. He was... Mm, sorry, let me... <laughs> this is awful. Oh, oh well, this boy. No, I've got to, I've got one other thing in my head which is really interfering. Oh, I'll just start in the second line because I've got that from there. Um, he was a man of renown. He had a daughter, a And the name he called her was his heart's delight. And many the young man to court came, but none of them could a favor gain till one of them. Oh, <laughs> 
is watered and fed. And when she came to her father's hall, who's there who said her father did call? It's only for me oh no my daughter oh no my daughter that cannot be your words are false and you lie to me for your your mind The truth and dawn, dawn is lady fair. What's happened? Um, I just looked at the words a second and it's all gone. <laughs> um, the truth and dawn, dawn is maiden fair, and with her friends she she exposed the grave where the, when her love was the nine months dead with a holland and the key wrapped round his head Dear me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Marion. Thank you very much. Oh, what was the title of that one? Holland Handkerchief. Me? Holland Handkerchief. The Holland, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd vaguely recognise it, but from a long time ago. Uh, Thank I think you. it's a Welsh tune, isn't it? Lisa yeah. Lance. Lisa yeah. Lance. Right, Rick. Oh. It's you. Right. Are we on mute? Yeah, I'm on mute. Um, last week, I spent the best part of a week learning a song for a theme that <coughs> was the wrong theme. <laughs> <laughs> this week, I've done a similar thing, a song I've never sung before, a song that I don't particularly like, and a song that I've never heard played on a banjo. <laughs> Well, never mind, it's got real, it's related to autumn. So let's have a go. If, <laughs> at the end of this, if you can guess what it is, <laughs> you get a point. <laughs> Oh, 
Was it uh, Nelly the Elephant? It was, yeah, yeah. Packed her trunk, and it was autumn when she packed her trunk. That's right, yeah. Said goodbye to the circus when it was closing gone. down at the end of the summer, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. That's that was the theme, yeah. Yeah, very good. One point yeah. for spotting that, Martin. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't a tune that I learned from Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> <laughs> Who never played on the banjo? Never. Right. You, sir. Uh, okay. Um, oh, where are we? Uh, not that. You have plenty of time to think. No, I have done. Yeah, uh, I've got it here somewhere. Yeah, this is it. Um, you, you alluded to this one earlier on when we started, and it's, uh, it's a song by Kurt Vile. And normally you, know, you only hear the chorus because that's all they do, and then they repeat it, and there's a bit of instrumental halfway through it. Uh, but there's two, there's, well, at least two verses to this, so I'll try and do A September song. When I was a young man, I courted the girls, and I played me a waiting game. When a maiden refused me with tossing curls, I'd let the old earth take a couple of whirls. As I plied her with tears in lieu of pearls, and as time went along, she came my way. And as time went along, she came. But it's a long, long while from May to December. And the days grow short when you reach September. And the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame. And I haven't got time for the waiting game. These days dwindle down to a precious few. September, November, and these few precious days I'd spend with you. These golden days I'd spend with you. When you meet with a young man early in spring, they court you in song and rhyme. They woo you with words and a clover ring. But if you examine the goods that they bring, they have little to offer but the songs they sing. And a terrible waste of time of day, and a terrible waste of time. But it's a long, long while, from May to December, and the days grow short when you reach September, and the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame and i haven't got time for the waiting game 
These days dwindle down to a precious few. September, November, and these few precious days I'd spend with you. These golden days I'd spend with you. That's beautiful, that man. Did you like that? Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Funny. Cracking song. It is. Yeah. Very nice. Stanley, are you taking the Scottish medicine there in between? I, I, I am taking a little bit of the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. But uh, we're going to go there from the sublime to the ridiculous now. Good. <laughs> you should expect nothing less. You expect nothing less. Some of the some of the uh, strings are in tune. Enough, anyway. Well, Liverpool is a lively place, but now it's got its props. It used to be just poverty and the big shortage of jobs. But this autumn, it is beset by plague which appears to be spreading. So now the government has clamped down, which the locals all were dreading. So fare thee well, my scouts are friends. When normality returns, so will your admirers. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's possible so we can stop the spread of coronavirus well we all recall the Beatles Ken Dodd and of course Scylla and all those mighty Liverpool football teams but I won't mention Aston Villa but now Liverpool is on top of the league, as often times in this nation. Alas, it's not the league of football or entertainment, it's the league of contamination. So fairly well, my scouts are friends, when normality returns, so will your admirers. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's possible, so we can stop the spread of coronavirus. You put the toxic in Toxteth, and the pubs will have to close. They put the boot in Bootle, and in Nosley nobody knows. They put Liverpool in tier three to confirm all the business fears. Perhaps too many scousers have been partying. Well, I knew it would end in tears. Sorry about that. So fairly well, my scouts are friends. When normality returns, so will your admirers. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's possible, so we can stop the spread of coronavirus. Now there are three tiers in the restriction. Wah, wah, boo. Examine them, and you will plainly see. The bug is coming back because we have been too slack. Let's examine tiers one, two, and three. Wah, wah, ooh. Tier one, 
Well, just carry on like we've been doing for the last few weeks. I don't know what it's all about, really. Wah, wah, boo. Tier two, don't be more than six people and don't talk to strangers in your garden, even if they are committing a burglary. Wah, wah, boo. Tier three, just don't do anything in Liverpool. Wah, wah, boo. And that, in summary, is tiers one, two, and three. Wah, wah. I did mention autumn. I've got autumb. Yeah. I noticed one, I was very impressed with one of the newspaper headlines today was it's all ending in tears. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. What really annoyed me yesterday was they started off by saying we've been we, there's been a lot of confusion over different rules and regulations. So we've got to simplify it. We're going to have three levels. Medium, <laughs> high, and extra high. It's like coffee cups. You can't have a small. You've got to have no, you know, regular, regular, grande, and you know, yeah. bucket. And it's just, and then they, they said that, uh, you know, um, moderate, serious, and very serious. And then the next person who came on. So let's look at tier one, two, and three, using a completely different set of terminology again, just to really confuse people who just about got the idea of free. Well, I hope I've simplified it for you. Well, one, two, and three. I'm surprised you didn't man mention the fact that all the pubs have to close except with the spoons. I oh, didn't know that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just serving food. They only close if there's not, anyone who's not serving food. Or yeah, right. Spoons, let's do it. Wow. Right, who should we go to <laughs> last? Oh, I know. <laughs> let's make it Dominic for a change. From what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I've managed to find another, find several songs, none of which I've done before. And um, they all mention autumn in some form or another. Um, yeah. I'll do this one. <laughs> It looks like you're sitting in a gallery that's waiting to have paintings hung. <laughs> Those are the lines oh, to right. the garden. I just it looks like, you know, when they come in and they hang the paintings up. All oh, right. <laughs> well, Sue does, uh, Sue's, a, Sue's an artist, and, and she did a really big one, the other, a big piece the other week, which was a lovely country scene. And I thought, oh, before I come on, I might put it behind me. <laughs> yeah, so the view will be this. Imagine you're sitting in a field. But it's disappeared. Yeah, it just looked as I was in the middle of the mountains. Try this one. Raglan Road on an autumn day, I saw her first and knew that her dark hair would weave a snare. I would someday rule. Saw the danger, yet I walked along the enchanted way. And I said, Let grief be a falling leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we walked lightly along. Of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passion's pledge. Queen of hearts still making tarts, and I not making hay. And I love too much, and by such and such is happiness thrown away. Gave her gifts of the mind, I gave her a secret sign. That's known to all the artists who have known true gods of sound and tone. Words and tint, I ne'er did stint, gave her poems to say. With her own name there and a long dark hair, like the clouds or the fields of May. On a quiet street where all ghosts meet, I see her walking now, 
away from me so hurriedly my reasons must allow that had i wooed not as i should a creature made of clay when the angel woos the clay he loses wings at the dawn of day on raglan road on an autumn day i saw her first and knew that her dark hair would weave a snare i might someday rue saw the danger yet i walked along the enchanted way and i said let grief be a falling leaf at the dawning of the day i said let grief be a falling leaf at the dawning of the day Ah. Why did you choose that, Dom? Uh, because it said autumn. <laughs> you know, was, was it Kieran Halpin wrote that? Uh, I've no idea. Oh, no. Well, who wrote no that? Idea. I'd heard someone do it, but it wasn't the act. Just, uh, it was um, Phil Atkinson I heard do it. When, when Kieran Halpin died last week, I'm sure I that came up with something that, that he'd written. No, that, that's an old Irish poem that somebody set to music about 20 years ago. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, maybe he set it to music. Good job of it, anyway. <laughs> maybe he set it to music, but it was it certainly came up in the, when I was looking up information about it. An old mate of um, Martin Alcox was Kieran, and um, they uh, mucked around a lot together for a while. And speaking of old mates, I had a phone call this evening. Anyone remember Graham Price? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you just knock around the Ring of Bells and um, also around uh, Jack and Mavis's country club um, as well. And um, he, he rang me out of the blue. I haven't spoken to him for about 10 years. He said he'd been on the website and um, he'd only just found out from that that, that Bob had died last year because, you know, he knew Bob as well. So uh, we're having a bit of a good old chin wag and a good uh, reminisce about places. And he told this lovely little story about Bob. Um, he said uh, he went, Bob picked him up to go to a folk club somewhere, uh, Tap and Spile, I think it was. Um, can't remember where he said it was. Uh, but it was run by um, Bill Tucker. Bill Tucker with a T. Remember Bill Tucker? Oh, no, Bill. You used to have a club in Castleton. And Rochdale and various other places. Various other places, yeah. You, Rick, you, you're looking puzzled, but you'd know him if you saw I, I remember the name, Tucker yeah. with the T, yeah. yeah. Bill Tucker with the T. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to so anyway, they turned up at this club early and there was no one else in. But it was sort of starting time and he was expecting a few people. So uh, Bill put Bob on first. Um, and he did a couple. <laughs> he said to Bill, he said, how many do you want me to do? He said, oh, just keep going until somebody good turns up. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill had a real, real dry sense of humour. So, you know, it was, it was um, a bit of banter, that was, that was. Rather I've, I've just looked at banter. Raglan Road, but, and uh, it was written by a poet called Patrick Kavanagh uh, about yeah, 1946. And it was set to music by one of the Dubliners. Oh, right. Right. So well, now we know. I'd, I'd only heard it through through Stanley um, through uh, Phil Atkinson. He, it was one that he does, and I thought, oh, I like, I like that. Well, I don't know where I got the link with Kieran Halpin. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> anyway, this is um, nothing to do with autumn. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Australian song. I remember the, uh, learned this, well, heard it first from um, uh, Jolly Jack, um, Dave Weatherall singing the, the, the lead on this. And uh, he plays a squeeze box and he did this wonderful thing where he throws the sound of the squeeze box around the room by doing this as he's playing it. 
and it seems to swirl around. It's amazing. And because of the lilt of the song on this one, it really lent itself to it. So it's got a chorus which you can have a sing by yourselves in your own privacy of your own rooms. Peter, you need to mute. Come stumpy old man, we must shift while we can, or your mates in the paddock are dead. Let us bid our farewell to Glen Eber's sweet dell, and the hills where your master was bred. Together we'll roam from our drought-stricken home, it's tough that such things have to be. And it's hard on a horse to have naught for a boss, but a broken down squatter like me. And the banks are all broken, they say, and the virgins are all up a tree. When the big wigs are brought to the bankruptcy court, what chance for a squatter like me? No more shall we muster the river for flats, or spiel on the fifteen mile plain, or rip through the scrub by the light of the moon to see the old stockyard again. Leave the slip panels down, it don't matter much now, there are none but the crows left to see. Urging gloves on young pine as so longing to die on a broken down squatter like me. And the banks are all broken, they say, and the merchants are all of a dream. When the big wigs are brought to the bankruptcy court, one chance for a squatter like me. When the country was cursed, with the drought at its worst, and the cattle were dying in scores. Though down on my luck, I kept up my luck, thinking justice would temper the laws. But the farce has been played, and the government aid ain't extended to squatters old son. When my money was spent, they doubled the rent, and resume the best half of the room. And the banks are all broken, they say, and the merchants are all of a tree. When the big wigs are brought to the bankruptcy court, what chance for a squatter like me? <coughs> it was done without reason, Believe in the season, no squatter could stand such a rub. For it's useless to squat when the rents are so hot that you can't save the price of your grub. There's not much to choose, fix the banks and the screws once a fella gets yucked up a tree. No odds what I feel, there's no court of appeal for a broken down squatter like me. And the banks are all broken, they say, and the merchants are all of a tree. When the great wigs are brought to the bankruptcy court, what chance for a squatter like me? What chance for a squatter like me? A broken down squatter, which I always thought was about a busted toilet. <laughs> right, Pete. Oh, he's off again. He's off screen. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Like punching Judas. <laughs> he's coming up on the wings. Baby's right. Still worried to do it. <laughs> Uh, I've not got anything about autumn. Starts off in, on Midsummer's Morn. That's all right. That's okay. See, they're all shifting around now. It makes a difference. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's the folk song. I sang about ten years ago. This right, it's uh, pleasant and delightful. 
Oh, over. Still that one. Oh well, we did this quite a bit, I think. Twas pleasant and delightful on midsummer's morn to view the fine meadows all covered with corn. The blackbirds and thrushes sang on every green spray. And the larks they sang melodious at the dawning of the day. The key's not right there. And the larks they sang melodious. Mm -hmm. And the larks they sang melodious. And the larks they sang melodious. At the dawning of the day, a sailor and his true love were walking one day. Said the sailor to his true love, I'm bound far away. I'm bound for the Indies, where loud cannons do roar. I must go and leave you now and see You're the girl that I adore I must go and leave you now and see I must go and leave you now and see I must go and leave you now and see you're the girl that I adore. The ring from off her finger she instantly drew to her, saying, Take this, dearest Willie, and my heart will go too. And as he embraced her, tears from her eyes fell, saying, May I go along with you? Oh, no, me love, farewell. Saying, may I go along with you? Saying, may I go along with you? Saying, may I go along with you? You're the. <laughs> I've got, got the wrong words there. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Oh, farewell. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're the girl that I adore. <laughs> oh, no, oh, farewell. Ah, uh, not in that verse. Never mind. Let's try this one. The ring from off her finger she instantly drew, saying, Take this, dearest Willie. And my heart will go too. And as he embraced her, tears from her eyes fell, saying, May I go along with you? Saying, May I go along with you? Saying, May I go along with you? Oh no, my love, farewell. So fare thee well, my dearest Nancy. I'm leaving today. My ship is awaiting out there in the bay. Her anchor is hoisted. She waits the next flowing tide. And if ever I'll return again, I will make you my bride. And if ever I return again, and if ever I return again, and if ever I return again, I will make you my bride. Yeah.
Oh, that's a great one for community singing, that. Where everyone gets the, the harmonies going. Wonderful. Yeah. I was doing a bit. Yes, <laughs> yes I know. Once you found the key. <laughs> <laughs> Once we'd found the key, oh, what harmony those boozy voices can that's play. That's right. Right. Okay. So, oh, you changed your name again, Jeff, after the last song. I haven't. Boy Soprano. Yeah. <laughs> you put that on. You put that on. Is it me again? No, it automatically does it. It's a computer app that you know finds a suitable name for you. I'm gonna do all for the wings of a dog. To follow my last song, all right. <laughs> you know, for, oh, for goodness sake, don't. <laughs> right, Neil, pick a number from one to five. 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 Okay. Well, if you ever plan to mow the west, take the highway. That's a byway, that's a fair. Get to your king on Route 66. Well, if you want. From Chicago to LA, over two thousand miles along the way. I said, Get your king on Route 66. It goes down to Sydney, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma City, Los Angeles, so pretty to see. Amarillo, you'll see Gallup, New Mexico, you'll see Arizona, don't forget the known as San Bobasco, and then you know if you could ever plan to take the trip, I said take the highway, that's the byway 66, I said get to your kick on Route 66. Goes down to Sydney, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma City, the toes all pretty to see. Amarillo, you'll see Gallup, New Mexico, you'll see Arizona. Don't forget the Nova San Bobasco, San Bernardino, if you could ever plan to move the west. I said, take the highway. That's the byway, that's the best. I said, get your kick on Route 66. I said, get your kick on Route 66. I said, get your kick on Route 66. Actually, that, that song's not as old as a lot of people think it is. It's, it only came about after the M66 was built. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a Lancashire folk song in the traditional style. I didn't know it was M66. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you, you kick, it's on the M66. You've been singing it wrong. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I'd just like to apologise for my guitar being out of tune also. I'm having a bad night. It's all right. You're in good company. Never noticed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, Marion. There's a blues song, it's allowed. Yeah. It's a good job we're not getting paid, isn't it? <laughs> the folk, we'll folk listen to it. Yeah, it's a folk song. Yeah, thank you. Nobody's bought tickets. <laughs> not allowed to sell. <laughs> Actually, refunds. there's more than six of us. We should split into two rooms. It'd be all refunds, wouldn't it? Marion, have you got something for us? Yes. Right, um, I, I just, I, I'm going to just disappear for a few couple of minutes. I need to sort something out uh, before Rick comes on because I just want to share a picture with you. But I'll, I'll just disappear while I do that. All right, so you carry on. If I'm not back by the time you finish, Rick, you're next. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, Molly Metcalf, counting her. Oh, what's happening to me tonight? Um, <laughs> trying so hard to get something for autumn. <laughs> oh, Molly Metcalf, counting her sheep. Yantum to the mother, if she can. 
mounted upon swelled of steep and bleak. Yanton, oh, sorry, cat. Ah, wait, sorry about that. Yanton, come in the crib, she said. Grow, little sheep, come hail, come snow. Yanton, turn a man a bib, she counted. Grow fine warm wool for a gentleman's shoulder blade. Yanton, turn a man a bib, she said. Over the heather, where the weather is cold. Yanton, turn a man a bib, she counted. Old Molly Mickle goes ball a goodly Yanton to the meadow if she said Grow little sheep come wind come rain Yanton to the meadow if she counted Find you all for a lady's counterpane. Yanton to the mother, if she said. On her back in the bracken with frozen bones. Yanton to the mother, if she Counted dark Molly met go singing alone. Yan turned to the mother, if she said, Grow little sheep from death come dark. Yan turned to the mother, if she counted. No such wall for old Molly Metzko. Young turn to the meadow, if she said. Young turn to the meadow, if <laughs> Excuse me a minute, we've got a diabetic cat and I've got to go and inject it. <laughs> there you go. on the cat's boil. <laughs> That's so oh, you don't something you don't see in front of me in the middle of singing. So <laughs> oh dear. You don't often hear that, do you? You don't. I've just got to inject our diabetic cat. <laughs> That's the yeah. line. Right, okay, Rick, before we put you on, I've just got a photo I want to share. Actually, I'll wait till Mark comes down because he might like to see this. Do, do your song first and then I'll... Um, it's not a song. A tune. And it's a tune. Well, it's a couple of tunes. One of the tunes is related to Autumn. And if you can guess the name, you, you might know that there's two tunes, two hornpipes from over the water in Ireland. They're doing a bit of cultural, what is it, appropriation. So it's two tunes. One of them is related to Autumn. If you get if you get the tune, it's one point.
I recognised both the tunes. I couldn't name either of them. Is it Boys of Blue Hill and Harvest Home? Harvest Home. Yeah. Very good. There you go. There's your autumn. Well done. Well done. Yeah, uh, that first one is the only tune I can just about play with a, a fair following wind on the tin whistle. <laughs> Most of it, you know, if I practice it, I, I, can, I can just about get through it. But um, that's me one and only. First, first two Irish tunes I ever learned when I was about 17 or <laughs> 18. Right, uh, this photograph I want to show you. Let's see if we can do this. Are you ready for this? Brace yourselves. Can you see it? Can you see that? <laughs> That's 1987 at the star. Uh, and in the top there, above the uh, amplifier, is Henrietta, the star of our pantomimes. Yeah. And, and you can see on Bob's T-shirt, he's got the Henrietta T-shirt on as well. <laughs> um, and that was the year we did um, Cinderella, when the subtitle was The Weirdos of Oz, um, which was known as an Antipodean Pantomonium. <laughs> and I played um, 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 Alligator Glasgow was my character, which is quite interesting because Crocodile Dundee number two is on tomorrow night on the telly. So I, I was Alligator Glasgow. And um, we had all sorts of things. We had Zippy, the bush kangaroo, talking like yay all the time. And we had all sorts of weird stuff going on. And um, Rick, you must have come over and joined us. And there's the very same mandolin. There you go. Very same one, yeah. There you go. That's when you had hair and it was black. Aye. Yeah. And there's a there song about that, isn't there? Silver in the stubble, winter in the wood. Mm. Well, you, well, you wicked world, I'm going to be good because the leaves are getting greener and spring is on the way, and girls are getting prettier and younger every day. Sydney Carter, <sighs> I think that was. Sorry, Sydney Carter, I think, wrote that. Yeah, so, that's right, yeah, yeah. Spinners did it many years ago. Mm. You can't get back onto my screen now. Anyway, you're, you're there anyway. Um, I'll, I'll get you back in a minute. Okay, Mark, it's over to you. Right, okay. Oh, I don't like that in front of me, you know, trying to <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to sing to that lot. <laughs> this is a song, it's called... Cool. You know, I'm still sharing the screen here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, ah, your screen, there we go. It's, it just appeared at the top, I was trying to find it at the bottom. Stop share, there you go. That's better. There you go. Right. Yeah. I, can is... have a living. I was looking at the bottom because that's where it was at first and when you finish it's up at the top. Thank you. Uh, this is a song called Billy Winker, and it was written by, that's Winker, it was written by uh, John Trafford Clegg, and it appears in his Sketches and Rhymes in the Rochdale dialect of 1895 when it was published, which uh, I don't know whether that was published uh, posthumously because he died in March 1980, uh, 1895, um, so, and he did two huge volumes of his work, and this is in one of them. And I was at a, a do... Uh, oh, years ago now, and somebody passed this book around. I don't know if you know Sid Calderbank, but he passed this book around. I was just flicking through it, and I found this um, this song that the Oldham Tinkers did, so I sang it then. So I haven't learnt it yet. I'm just reading it now. It goes like this. Billy Winker drove a cart for a brewer down at Shea With full ale barrels he'd start on his journey every day Empty kegs he'd get from some but a shameful tale to tell When with empties he gate one He were off brim full his cell Oh, Billy, what a man Life's last bottle soon thus spent Now thus sup top thale thou can It were getting time thou went Customers near thinking wrong Used to give him lowance glasses Milder, bitter, weaker, strong Every make from coops to basses, Winker all a saddled lot, Out were eight his spark to slack, Jugger bottle glass or pot, He could empty down his neck. Oh, Billy, what a man, Life's last bottle soon thus spent, 
Now the soup tall fell thy con, it were getting time thou went. Bill grew fat, and Bill grew fatter, while his nose with shame went pink. He'd forgotten taste of water, sin he'd tain to mix his drink. So it is bad habits floor, best a folk at live be sweat. If he'd stuck to milk it sure, fella could have been here yet. Oh, Billy, what a man, life's last bottle soon thus spent. Now thus sup talk thail thy con, it were getting time thou went. Billy's master soft in yed, called his mon in one fine day. Here's nine gallon lad, he said, take it one there's no to pay. Thou can swallow wheel, I think, or that ill be lied be folk. Set thyself to side this drink. And I'll time thee just for joke. Oh, Billy, what a man. Life's last bottle soon thus spent. Now thus sup talk thail thy con. It were getting time thou went. Billy thanked him with a grin. Barrel on his shoulder cocked. Made for woman safely in. Front and back his doors he locked. Tapped his bung and down he sit, buckling to a neat's hard work. Thales so fast began to flit, it were well he gone be dark. Oh, oh Billy, what a man, life's last bottle soon thus spent. Now thus sup talk thail thy con, it were getting time thou went. Morning come, be nine o'clock. Back with barrel Billy went, standing steady as a rock, filling spot with balmy scent. Done be now his master cries, Billy Winker, that a cure. Done, why mon to tell no lies for supper, I had to fetch some more. Oh, Billy, what a man, life's last bottle soon thus spent. Now the sup talk thail thy con, it were getting time thou went. Put the barrel down in nook, brewer said the saddled me. Bill no shap to take his oak, but stood his ground with twinkling e. What art stopping there for bout, master shouted in a crack. Come says Billy, is the note. At all for bringing empty back. Oh, Billy, what a man, life's last bottle soon thus spent. Now thus sup talk thail thy con, it were getting time thou went. Billy Winker. Very nice. Tune by Jerry Kearns. Yeah, it's a nice tune. Nice mm. tune. Um, I'm just trying to look at look at the time of the situation. It's ten cowboy time. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. ten, to ten. Um, so we got Stanley and Dominic. Um, we're not going to get round the the group again. So I think this is probably going to be the last two, and then we'll finish. That was brilliant, Mark. I've never heard that one before. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm trying to think which LP it's on. I think it's on Best at Bunch. Uh, which they brought out in the 70s. Brilliant. The Oldham Tinkers. You know, at the beginning, it mentions a, a brewer from Shea. Yeah, well, that's Shaw. Shea is Shaw, that's where I am. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I never knew that. And we, have, we, we, have a, we have a Weatherspoons called the Shea Wake. All right. It's, it's the only pub that people in Liverpool can go to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're not supposed to leave their area. So they shouldn't do. You know, they can't... You can't get out according to the song, you see. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I, it was only about maybe 18 months, two years ago. You know how you go through life and, and you, you sort of know things, but then you suddenly make connections between things that you never realised were connected. Um, and it often, often happens with words uh, and derivations of words. And for years, and absolutely years, I, I'd known about you know driven through Rochdale 
having gone up to Todmorden hundreds of times uh, when you were living there, Rick, yeah. and more recently when my sister lives up towards Littleborough, come through Roxdale hundreds and hundreds of times. And I've seen, you know, signs for suburbs and, and districts. And I was driving down through Roxdale and within a couple of minutes, I saw two signs, one for Norden and one for Sudden. And it was only then when I, under, I understood what Sudden was. Mm. It was Northern and Southern. Yeah. Don't go to Midden. No, no, I've known of Norden, I've known of the name Norden, and I've known of the name Sudden. And I'd never related them together and made oh. them between the dialect and the words <clears> Northern. Can I tell you something about Sudden that always amuses me? When you're going down, going to Sudden and you come to the big roundabout by yeah. is it Asda or Tesco's yes, or something, yeah. there's, there's this building in front of you coming from Rochdale going towards yeah. Middleton and it says Sudden Health Centre. I think that's yeah. magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a great name. A great we, should name. All have some, we should all have one. But it, I say to go through it all, all my life and only a couple of years ago I realised it. Never clocked that. Never clocked it. I've been yeah. to Norden umpteen times. There used to be a tannery there, didn't there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, been umpteen times. I've been to Sudden, never clocked it. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? It is. And, you know, my mother used to look at the, the living room at our house when we were kids and we were all messing around with the toys. And she'd come and say, oh, it's chaos in here. So I knew the word chaos. And I'd read C-H-A-O-S. And in my mind, I'd read it as showers. <laughs> And it was only when I saw something on television with the subtitle that I saw chaos and I saw the word chaos. I thought, oh, what do you know? It's not chaos at all. It's chaos. That's what my mother was talking about. <laughs> want, to read, want to read Juno and the Peacock? That's a terrible state of chassis. <laughs> you see, Peacock there again. I never knew that was Peacock. Yeah. Ah, well, you live and learn, whether you want to or not. Okay, right. that's taken over five minutes. Stanley. Hi, uh, be before me, fairly brief song, uh, a, a very brief poem, um, which goes like this. We used to have a cat. Don't know where we got it from. It only appeared in October, so we used to call it Or Tom. <laughs> he needed injections for diabetes. The only treatment that relieves. But he saw me approaching with needle. And that's why autumn leaves. Hey! And now a song from Worcestershire. Wonderful. I first met my true love at Tembury Wells. Outside the church to the peal of them merry bells. She looked bright as pie, to win her would be a fair game. Her family came from Worcester, she was one of the pear mains. She's golden and delicious, my beauty of back. Took me for a fool, led me up the garden path. My heart starts to crumble, my head's in a whirl. For Charlotte, my apple day girl. Having made this discovery, I inquired of her if she might like to accompany me to visit my old Granny Smith. Later on to the gala by my side she was skipping with the occasional nibble at me Cox's orange pippin. She's golden and delicious, my beauty of back. Took me for a fool, led me up the garden path. My heart starts to crumble, my head's in a whirl. For Charlotte, my apple day girl. Now, for a while, romance blossomed. Me the fly, her the spider. I toast her in beer, but I didn't know what was going on inside her. Twas at the Lord Nelson I last kissed those lips, cause the next time I phoned, all I got was the pips. She's golden and delicious, my beauty of back. Took me for a fool, let me up the garden path. My heart starts to crumble, my head's in a whirl. For Charlotte, my apple day girl. 
Oh, what a turnover for this poor Applejack. Alone in the rain I walk now in my Apple Mac. My heart is t orchard, my head it is sore. Cause each time I see her, I still think core. She's golden and delicious, my beauty of fat. Took me for a fool, let me up the garden path. My heart starts to crumble, my head's in the world. For Charlotte, my apple day girl. Charlotte, my apple day girl. When did you write that, Stan? Brilliant. What, 2006? I, I, had to, I was booked to play at the Tembury Wells Apple Day. And, <laughs> I, and I, I remember saying to them, how long has this tradition been going? And they said, what tradition? This is the first one. So I thought, <laughs> oh, you haven't got a song then. So I'll, I I'll, I'll write you a, an Apple Day song. And even to this day, they still don't sing it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> here's, another, here's another line for you, Stanley. There was a young lady from Hyde who ate some green apples and died. The apples fermented inside the lamented and made cider inside her inside. Ah, <laughs> <very good. laughs> yeah, and I seem to, I don't know where we were, but I seem to remember you saying you'd just written it when I, when I, I first time I heard that. Oh, I always say that to all my songs, yes. <laughs> no, because it's just been September. That, 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 poem, that poem I only wrote since it started. Yes, Oh, Tonight. I was thinking you've been waiting years to get that out, you know. I've been, I've been waiting, waiting to, to hear about a cat with diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> and the theme about autumn. Yeah, yeah, about autumn, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> what, what a chance of, of having written that no. 11 years ago. Never throw anything away. Never <laughs> throw, it's it's going to come in useful <laughs> one day. <laughs> <laughs> Never throw anything away. Yeah. Right, well, that was nice. Um, Stanley. <laughs> That was wonderful. Thank you, Dom. It's yeah, a lovely evening. <laughs> okay, here's um, here's another one I've not written, and <laughs> I don't know who did write it. So, um, but it is one about autumn. Well, yeah, refers to autumn several times. As the daylight turns to starlight And the seasons turn to change Get the same old answers But the question still remains We shared a brief but magic song By the first leaves of autumn You were gone Not until the rain has touched my face not until the first leaves fell from space Not until the moment did I see I never realized what you meant to me From the days you fill with sunlight To the laughter in your eyes To the making and the breaking of the day you said goodbye we shared a brief but magic song by the first leaves of autumn you were gone not until the heart defense is down not until old come your ye comes round not until that moment did I see I never realized what you meant to me Not until the rain has touched my face Not until the first leaves fell from space not until that moment did I see I never realized what you meant to me I never realized what you meant to me Oh.
Yes, that's Dominic. That, I think, I think that, um, that gets the award for the most appropriate autumn song. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Apart from autumn leaves, Moy Soprano did a, a, a brave effort of, of doing that. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> It's all false with you, yeah? Um, right, just a, a message from Pete, just to clarify. He said, um, my situation is not as straightforward as it first seems. I'm only allowed to sit for 30 minutes in any hour. So presumably the rest of the time I have to be walking around. Uh, I have to sit on a chair that supports my back and allows me to rest my feet flat on the floor, whilst also supporting my thighs. So not a typist chair, which is the one I have in front of the computer. I do have a chair that will support me adequately, but I'm not allowed to lift it as it's too big and awkward and Leslie can't carry it to the computer. So for the time being, I will not be joining you. Hope you all have a good night. Sithy from Peter. So there you go. Um, right. Next next time it's going to be the 27th, which is as near as I need to be to Halloween to use that as an excuse. So things that go bump in the night, ghoulies and ghosties and long-legged beasties and Anything dark and sinister or magical and mysterious, that sort of thing. It was about boggarts. Boggarts? Yes, I, I, might, I might dig out Bob's boggart song. Never saw this all by myself before, we always do it together. That's two days after Ash, you can call that. What, Halloween? 27th of October. Oh, right. Is it, is once it, more unto the breach, dear friends, once more, or we close the hole up with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the today. Falls in our ears, then imitate the action of a tiger, summon up the blood, stiffen up the sinews and disguise fur nature with hard favoured rage, then lend the eye a terrible aspect that it cry through the portage of the head, as doth all oh, forget it. Very good. How come, Rick, when we were at college, all you got was a walk on part as a butler <laughs> in the drama department? I could never remember my lines. <laughs> I know. It's eight and you're 40 odd years as well. Did Rick go to Mather? Yeah. Uh, sorry? Did Rick go to Mather? Yeah, he was yeah. in my group. Did you go to Mather College? Yeah, yeah. Same, same group. That's where I met him. Yeah. That's yeah. where it all So did happened. I. <laughs> That's where it all happened. Yeah. Martin. Better for better for worse. Next time, could I could I just tell you a story instead of uh, singing a song for one of them? Certainly you can. I've got a good story about, mm. you know. Or you can make you can make it up if you want, or you can tell a real one or whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah, raconteurs are always welcome. <laughs> Right, so we'll, um, I suppose we'll finish with this. <clears throat> the day's full end is rounded out and that's the working lights and I would have all round about the friendship of this night to my while by the while city down by me by the while by the while in friendly company <coughs> With us, an hour to pass before you think to pass. Allow the landlord fill your glass and friendship fill your heart. And by the while, by the while, sit you down by me. By the by the while in friendly company. You 
use up the time you have to spend with kinsmen you well know so pull aside the chair and lend the time before you go and by the while by the while sit you down by me by the while by the while in friendly company Come one, come all, the parting toast is raised in fond refrain. No matter who should play the host, we'll by the while again. By the while, by the while, sit ye down by me. By the by the while in friendly company By the while, by the while Sit ye down by me By the while, by the while in friendly company struggling getting that bottom note these days, I don't know why. I might have to take it up one notch and then I might struggle getting the top one. I'll have to take some lessons. Yeah. What key do you play that in? It's um, B flat. B flat. B flat. E flat. E flat. Well, it's a third fret. It's C on the third fret. Okay, right. Thank you. I play D on the second, on the first fret, sorry. Right. right. Brass band tune in that, isn't it? E flat. Is, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's where I can get it. If it's a, that's a lowest note, that's the highest note. I keep working around until I can find a place where it'll work. Oh, the brass band, but, I love you. But I suppose um, if I'm struggling to get the bottom note, I might have to take it up. So what's the next one, Mark? What will the next one be? Uh, well, it'll be you're in C C sharp. Oh no, it won't be. It'll be uh, E flat E. It'll be E. Yeah. E. E by gum. That's good for an end of the night song. It isn't. E. Right. So uh, next time, all things spooky. And I'll tell you what. Let, let's let's have a bit of a, a bit of fun. See if we can decorate our sets. <laughs> right. Go on. Yeah. Don't be such yeah, a good. Go on. Kick in the mud, Rick. Oh, oh, only if only if there's nothing American about it. No pumpkins. No, 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 no. No pumpkins. Turnip lanterns. That's what you want. Oh, we <laughs> do sweet lanterns. And sweet, you, yeah. oh, you, you sl slice your fingers off trying to cut it out with a knife. Scooped out with a spoon, yeah. Oh, you never do Neil's that. ready already. <laughs> never be able to do it with a spoon. That's a bloody pumpkin. <laughs> None of this American stuff. Get a turnip. <laughs> <laughs> that was Halloween when I was a kid, walking around the streets with a with a turnip lantern. That's what we did. <laughs> well, like Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a turnip lantern. Oh, wonderful! Oh, a turnip lantern. Yeah. You know, pumpkins are hollow in the middle. That's why they use them. Yeah, so it's so much easier. Yeah. 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 It's American rubbish. Right. <laughs> right, so um, let, let's uh, let's see if we can do something um, interesting Terrific. and unusual, and um, just something behind or to wear, or some, just something, just to get in the spirit of things. Rick's thinking now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, peel his skin off and come as a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a monetary uh, reward for the best? No. 
<laughs> we have to discourage trick or treat this year because you're not supposed to be going around the streets knocking on people's doors. <laughs> Get a Mars bar. <laughs> Save us a fortune on bloody sweets. <laughs> well, we used to do knock on doors and then we'd sing. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, no. Then, then, then there was cover calling. That's, yeah. well, yeah, that's, that's the next one. You can do cover calling next time, Rick. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, not next time. That, that, that'll be the next one, won't it? Well, no, because it'll be the 10th of November then. Oh. So it's in between. 27th is just before both of them. So it's the nearest one to both. Do you think, do you think that'll, that'll pass muster next time, will it, Cobra Colin? I think so. I think we can include Bonfire Nights as well. Oof, right, OK. Well, that, or Autumnal Seasonal Festival. That's, uh, that, I can add that to my list then. Yeah, yeah. I've been making a list while I've been thinking of them. Right. OK. Um, I think that's it, really. Uh, I'm hoping this time the, um, the recording will translate to the website. It's not been doing the last, last time it didn't do it. And one time earlier it wouldn't do it either. So it's hit and miss. I don't know what to do if it doesn't. Um, thanks for coming anyway. And thanks for staying. And until next time. Bug it off. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you all. Bye. I'm ending the meeting. Bye. Ending the meeting now. Okay.